um, sometimes clients will come to me and I'll ask them, who referred you? Sometimes they would say, oh, my friend has had counseling and they thought it'd be a good idea. Yeah, some would say my GP, but you would find in, it, it's, you, you will still get there, get the work done, but it's easier when somebody is committed to their healing. That, that's all you know you yeah. just have to push a little bit but it's easier when they, when they agree which is why Jesus asks oh I've been blind okay I want to see it makes it easier sometimes yeah it's good to have a good support system good friends good pastors good um, siblings good groups that can push you and motivate you forward the will, the will is that's why God gave us the will it did absolutely mm-hmm. the idea of spurring one another on to good works I think that makes a lot of sense but also putting that in the context of, of allowing for the, the right timing in that situation yeah. knowing that there is a space to acknowledge what you've experienced to come to terms with that and then decide what it is that you want to do with this it's very difficult when someone has wronged you for example um, when people just say, okay, just forgive, you know that you ought to forgive as a believer. But if you haven't actually recognized what mm. you forgive them for, mm-hmm. forgiveness is not accessible to you. Because you can say, yes, I release you. But, but from what? What was the debt that you're forgiving mm-hmm. them? What is it? Are you, have you come to terms with what's happened here? And that does need to happen for forgiveness to be true, to be genuine. So there is process behind the invocation of a choice when you actually decide to exercise choice. It needs to be an informed decision. Absolutely. And actually, I just want to say this. I've found out, for instance, in, in my work in pastoring, that many pastors have no clue what they're doing when they're treating internal trauma. And um, so they just read from a book, it's just like trying to treat a patient with tetanus and going on YouTube <laughs> to find out what to do. That's what most pastors do. And that's why I actually feel that it's good within the Christian body for us to recognize those who are trained at least recognize soul trauma now most people who are trained to recognize soul trauma and deal with the counselors may not understand the spirituality behind it mm-hmm. um which is the good that's why we need more Christian counselors 